Welcome in One Nation to another episode of the latest buzz. I'm your host, TJ Wingard. Well, we have made it to the postseason, and today we're going to recap the end of the regular season for certain teams and then preview their postseason matchup. But first, let's talk about the men's and women's cross-country programs who have already gathered the ODAC title and rang the victory bell this past Saturday afternoon. Max Sparks repeated as ODAC individual champion and had Frank Sorbo right behind him at the finish line. Overall, eight runners finished in the top 14, meaning eight Hornets raced to an all-conference accolade. For the women's team, Kelsey Lagunas won the individual champion title. Stephanie Burnett and Allison Dell then raced to a third and fourth place finish, respectively. All told, five runners for the women's team finished in the top 14 and garnered all-conference recognition. Furthermore, Saturday marked the first time since 2012 that both the men's and women's cross-country programs each won the ODAC title, so a big-time congratulations in order for all the runners and the entire coaching staff. Also winning in a big way on Saturday was the men's soccer team in the ODAC quarterfinals, which saw Lynchburg play host to Shenandoah. After ending the regular season red-hot, winners of seven in a row and pitching five shutouts in the last ten matches played, Lynchburg carried that momentum into postseason play and topped Shenandoah 4-0. A big stage came with a big spotlight shined on Luke Mega, the junior collected his first career hat trick, and the one lone non Mega goal came from Carter Averett. Now the Hornets are set to host six seed Virginia Wesleyan on Wednesday at 7 p.m., the Marlins coming off a big upset win over the three seed Randolph Macon. Okay, now let's talk about the women's soccer team. Their regular season came to a close on the road at number four CNU in a late season non conference bout. But now the stage is set for Coach Olsen and the Hornets as they enter the ODAC tournament as the three seed and will get to host a quarterfinal match against Guilford. That game will be played at 3.30 p.m. on Tuesday afternoon, but that's not the only quarterfinal being played on Tuesday as field hockey enters the tournament as the three seed in a six-team postseason field. Lynchburg fell to that three spot after a 4-1 loss at Shenandoah on Saturday night, but there soon could be a chance for revenge. If Lynchburg is able to best Bridgewater, who they beat in the regular season by the score of 6 to nothing, then in the semis, Lynchburg will get their chance to battle it out with Shenandoah once more. Moving on to the volleyball team now, they ended the regular season on a very high note, sweeping Hollins last Wednesday night as the team celebrated the class of 2022. They now enter the ODAC tourney as the five seed and will travel to Bridgewater for their quarterfinal match. The Hornets bested Bridgewater back on October 13th in four sets, and if Lynchburg is able to advance, they will take on the winner of either the one or the eight matchup, that's WNL and Shenandoah. Leaving the courts and diving into the pool, Lynchburg swim teams competed in a dual meet over the weekend at WNL. The Hornets tallied four event victories, including two from Delaney Kennedy, winning both the 200-yard breaststroke as well as the 400 individual medley in nail-biting fashion. Also, we have to shout out Claire Galloway coming in first in the 100-yard breaststroke for Lynchburg. And now to round out the video, we have to talk about this equestrian team. Last week saw Taylor Herzog named ECAC Flat Rider of the Week, as well as Emma Schweizer tabbed Fences Rider of the Week. And after the accolades were announced, Lynchburg split an NCEA meet with Delaware State and Sweetbriar. The Hornets defeated Delaware State in a raw point tiebreaker before narrowly following to Sweetbriar 5-3. Then this past Saturday, Lynchburg hosted an IHSA event and totaled a season-best 34 points en route to earning a reserve champion result. Now, I know that's a lot to get you caught up on, but I also want to mention not only the postseason here, but College Hoops is back as well. This week, we'll see the women's basketball team's season opener at home on Friday evening against Averitt. That'll bring it close to this episode of The Latest Buzz. Be sure to head to lynchburgsports.com for more of the latest news, results, and stories revolving around Lynchburg athletics.